sir, I don't know you, so you're going to have to keep all hands on. So he was here watch. last year. Okay. <laughs> he's, the one, he's the one you got to watch out for. I've been here a lot. Don't make me get out of this cab. Don't take me a while. Don't make me turn this thing around. Let's see if I can hold. Whoop. <laughs> see if I can hold my camera steady. <laughs> and we're off. Now the folks here at Reading, they um, at the Reading Society of Model Engineers, they have uh, I want to say three or four open houses um, throughout the year. This is what's called their Frosty Run, and it is obviously it's uh, end of November. We're just. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving was a couple days ago, and um, like I said, we're looking at with the weather so far. Pretty nice day. And that white building in the back there, that's where we're going to be going. Check out that awesome train, uh, model train layout. Don't look down, kids. <laughs> so unfortunately, with all the uh, all the leaves off the trees and everything, and we're not really getting too much uh, foliage or anything, I definitely want to come back in the, uh, probably in the spring or summer. I can't imagine how pretty this is out here, uh, taking a train ride through the woods. Now, they do have another... Uh, small gauge rail up uh, up to my left that we may go past or may check out a little bit later as well. So as we come around the bend up here, this is where that other narrow gauge uh, little rail goes up into the woods there. I think that is an operation. <laughs> and there's even a tunnel up there. Oh yeah, looks like we're gonna pass them. <laughs> keep it going, RJ, keep it going. <laughs> What kind of locomotive is this? This Baldwin oh. AS16. Yep. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> model after uh, Baldwin AS16, uh, which was a major uh, component of the Reading Railroad. Uh, I believe they used it as one of their road switchers. Uh, we have it uh, powered by a Ford Model A, the Dodge transmission, uh, locked into first reverse. Uh, it's gasoline powered, obviously. Uh, it's built. Uh, by members. Uh, we previously had a shop complex at 730 Church Street in Reading, hence the number. Ignore that. 
uh, which was <laughs> just down the street from the uh, Reading Yards. And so some of the craftsmen that were building this would just walk a couple blocks out to the yard and take their measurements right off the prototype. No kidding. I think this was uh, the modeled after the second generation. Okay. Uh, each generation of the AS-16 was mildly different and between the freight and passenger versions. Uh, I believe this was second generations and they also couldn't be MU'd between the, each other and they definitely couldn't be MU'd with other non-Baldwin locomotives. Nice. Because Baldwin used a proprietary MU technique. Okay. For better or worse. Yeah. <laughs> I got two HO scale ones. After the first time I was here, so yeah. now I have my own. Bowser, yeah. Which yep. That's is what they are. correct for certain versions of yeah. it. What I like about this is with a layout this size, they've got uh, a space behind, you know, the green, uh, the green mountains there and crawl spaces underneath the table where they can get in and work on the stuff. This is quite elaborate, that's for sure. And there used to be a big section here, but they took that out. You see they're using cardboard strips and that like uh, i'm not sure what that material is but they using that to shape the mountains and stuff rather than using uh foam i'm sure they have foam at some point like right here they got some foam i'm assuming that's what that is sounds like we got something over there not sure where it's coming out And from what I remember, this is one big figure eight, yes. this layout. Yes, the crossover is on this side. That's right, it's that bridge over there, I think. It's in here. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, his, his junction's in here. What's that? The junction's in here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. over in this yeah. section. Remember last year, I was crawling around this thing. Yeah. Yeah. See, we've got quite a crowd here. But this is a really big building. This building is about, I think it's a 40 by 80. <laughs> Such a cool layout. Eventually, when I get a lot of money, I would love to do something like this. <laughs> Have a big old where kind of, you know, industrial building like this.
One question I had when I was here last year was, um, what exactly these little orange uh, barrels are? And they're actually water barrels. Because on, um, on a railroad, on a trestle like this, if there was a fire, they could stop and actually access these water barrels to put the fire out. And actually, that's what that little cupola is on top of caboose, right? That's the, what they call the firebox or whatever, so they can look down train. Yeah, that's for checking hot boxes on the wheels. Hot box, yeah. that's yep. right, yeah. Basically, that's where somebody would sit to keep an eye on the train. They could look ahead and, and watch for smoke coming out of the wheels, and they could radio up to the front and let them know uh, in the days of the radios. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know what they did before that. I guess signals, hand signals. Yeah. Flying. And they have a little uh, Thomas the Tank engine down there. <laughs> you know, I can't even imagine what the, the planning must have been like for something like this. Where's that coming? Okay, he's popping out over there. <laughs> now, I won't claim to be any kind of an expert on trains. I only know what I've learned so far from the guys and uh, like RJ and Randy and JP Allen and all that. I am gonna be redoing my train layout, probably not until next year. I have a lot of work to do in my attic. Uh, but that's where the train layout is going to go. I, did, I started doing some very much overdue, much needed cleaning up there. Whatever I had in the garage will fit up there and probably more. So I just need to get the attic insulated as well as uh, drywall or proper electric and all that. So that's going to be a pretty big project that's going to take me quite a bit of time. But I'm looking forward to doing it. I think it'll be a lot of fun and a learning experience to say the least. But in the meantime, I can always enjoy you know, coming to layouts like this. I plan on going down to Strasburg and checking out the Choo Choo Barn because I've actually never seen that particular layout. I've only been to the train uh, store that's there and I've never actually seen the museum. So that'll be something I'm gonna be doing. Hopefully, you know, if the winter months aren't too bad, uh, probably over the winter I'll be doing that. You know, one thing I love doing while I'm here is whenever one of these trains goes into a tunnel, try to figure out where they're gonna come out. You can kind of see in there is that coming through it now? That's going even further underneath, I think. Oh, no, here it comes. <laughs> and here we come to the uh, O scale. We got a Christmas tree on this train all decked out. That's really cool. Yep, Mel's Diner, yep. I love the, uh, the airplane there. And they even have a uh, track underneath there with uh, Santa's... Uh... <laughs> And you can hear uh, Mel's Diner in the background there. We made it back outside. Yeah, I'm standing behind somebody. I that, <laughs> that is uh, oh, 
like I said, like I said, multiple times in that. Has one hell of a uh, layout, but <laughs> made it outside to this upper little uh, kitty track here. Very good. That's a good ride. <laughs> I think parts are not over your mind, but there are cookies at the sale. I'm coming, bud. Okay. And they're good. Yes. Would you like what? to be the engineer and actually make it run? Okay. This is neat. They have a little uh, turntable here. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. When I'm out doing the desk, Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see her in here. So this whole thing rolls that way, and then it raises up and down, so they can roll it out onto this, bring it down to the level of their vehicle to load it into their vehicles. Nice. And then this has to get put away. I guess they have somewhere where they put it inside. Yeah, hence why they probably... Hey, Jamie. Who what now? I just got out of the bathroom. He was going to get his ticket. Who? Colin, a PA and Northeastern Rail fan. Yeah, if I ever win the lottery, this is what I'm making. I'm buying a big plot of land and building my own uh, big train set that I can ride. Oh. <laughs> now, this was something I didn't get to do last year. Let's come in and see this uh, this neat tunnel here that they're. Are they in the? Pro are they build more onto this or? Yeah. <laughs> Train cars. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, while the sun's right in, uh, <laughs> right behind us. Uh, well, my battery's about to uh, kick the bucket here on uh, this wonderful day up here at the uh, Reading Society of Model Engineers. I uh, had a great time, especially with this guy, always a good time. And uh, big thanks to Jamie for uh, meeting us down here as well. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some more train stuff here in the near future. I've been doing a lot of exploring because I have been traveling quite a bit. But uh, yeah, definitely more train stuff coming. So like always guys, I'll see you soon. He doesn't call me comic relief for nothing. <laughs> <laughs>